Tutorial Trebuchet here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Fallout New California into your Fallout New Vegas. First off, you'll head to this page, the Fallout New California Nexus page. There is also one for ModDB, but for today's tutorial I'll be on the Nexus page. As always, the links will be in the description. So first off, make sure you have an account, then go to Files, and this gargantuan file, you click manual download. It will take two to three hours to download it, so be warned, this will take a long time. Once you've done that, you can close your browser, you don't need it anymore, you can uninstall it for all I care. And go to downloads. When you first download it, you'll have this file here. You can see it's 6.9 gigabytes, and it's a zipped file. You will need 7-zip, WinRAR, or some kind of extraction tool to open this file. Right click, in this case 7-zip, extract files, and then you hit OK. I have already done it for the sake of speed. Now, once you get to this step, you can do one of two things. First off is you run your game to generate your INIs by opening the launcher, or if you haven't done that, you have to do it manually. So, for this case, I already ran the launchers, so I can run the EXE right now. However, if you haven't run the game yet, for example, if you just downloaded New Vegas and you haven't run it yet to gener generate your INIs, what you'll do is the following. Go to whichever disk Steam is installed, or GOG, or wherever your game is. Go there. In this case, Steam. So, Program Files x86. Steam. Steam Apps. Common. And then Fallout New Vegas. And then you'll see this, the Fallout NV Launcher EXE. Run this to generate your INIs. Once you're done with that, you can ignore this. For example, this is an INI, if you were wondering. You can ignore this now, and then go back to here. Because I have the INIs generated, I can click e the EXE right now. If I didn't, I would copy these two files and paste them in the New Vegas directory. But that's unnecessary given what I've done. So now, you will go here and you'll make sure you click on the EXE. Not this, and not these text files, the EXE. Double click, and then it says, oh no, you sure you want to do this, oh no. And you hit yeah, and you click next. You can see New California, the INI tweaks, the 4 gigabyte patcher, and enabling the plugins. For this case, I will have all of these selected because they're all helpful. And plus, this is really nice because I don't have to install the 4 gigabyte enabler for the 10 millionth time today. So, hit next. And now, you make sure it found your game directory. So, mine is D, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout New Vegas. So, it found it because I generated the INIs. If you didn't do the previous steps, then you'd have to click Browse, and you'd have to determine where the INI thing is. So, there you go. Once you've done that, you click the wonderful button called Install. Click. And now you'll be greeted with this. This will probably take a little bit of time. If you're interested in the details, you can click Show Details and you can see it churning the mods away. So, let that go on for a little while. And, as you can see, there are the New California Main BSA, there are the Menu BSAs, the Meshes, Sounds, it's currently generating the textures, and this will likely take a long time. So, for the sake of uh, your time and my suffering, I will edit this part out. You lucky duckling you, you don't have to suffer through this. Yet. So, I will see you on the flip side. Okay, I'm back. Now, once you're near the end, you'll see this prompt appear. It says, Begin Configuring Fallout INI. Click OK. End Configuring Fallout INI. OK. And you can see, this is the 4 gigabyte patcher. I have a tutorial of it back like a year ago. So, it's already patched the EXE, so I'll press the key, so I'll press W. And that's it. You're done. You can now celebrate, you can slam your forehead on the table and say, oh boy, it took a whole two minutes to install that, far too long. So, click finish, and you're off to the races. Or are you? 
because there is a uh, step left in this. So, go to your game directory, wherever you have it hiding, in this case, XA6, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, New Vegas, and you can see all these wonderful things. New California is installed, NVSC is installed, well actually NVSC is not installed, you need to install NVSE after doing this if you want to use any of the cool mods, so if you want to see a follow-up tutorial after this for that, then please let me know. And now that you've made sure that your uh, new California install is in your file directory, open your mod manager of choice. In this case, Fallout Mod Manager, hit yes, hit yes, and you can see it's right here. New California ESM does not go before New Vegas ESM. That will not work. In this case, I'll move it here. You can put it right there if you want to. I don't suggest that. I suggest you put it here. And make sure they're checked, and that's it. You're done. How wonderful is that? A straightforward mind tutorial. Just make sure you install NVSE, and you're good to go. Just run the game off the EXE and then that's it. If you have any issues with NVSC, try running the NVSC EXE rather than the game EXE to see if that changes anything. And if you are so inclined, you can type this. Get NVSE version. When you get to the New Vegas main menu, hit the tilde key to open the console, type this in, and press enter. If it says something like NVSE version is 5, then you know you have NVSE version 5.1.3.666 beta, whatever. You know it's installed. If nothing appears, NVSE is not installed. And that's about it. Hope this helped. And let me know if you want me to make a tutorial on Project Nevada's... not Project Nevada. New California's recommended mods, which you can see here. So, for Geek Patch and VSC, this is already installed. VSC mod config, Solid Project, Project Nevada ENB, EXE, EVE, Robco, Weapon Protector Project, Weapons New Alinea, and a forehead bald spot remover. So, if you want to see a video on that, let me know and have a good one. If you installed it correctly, this will be your new main menu.